Question about risk management. Uh, what are some of the solutions that you see for internal risk management as a, let's say, mining company? And what are some of, the, some of the tools that you might offer that might be useful for the buying public uh, to have to help them manage their risk? I'll mention one thing. Uh, if you're talking about for miners, um, there's lots of tools out there that you can use to help uh, analyze what's going on with your equipment and uh, manage the risk. Obviously the the worst thing to happen is for you to have a bunch of downtime and not know about it. And as you visit, you know, in order to be profitable you have to have more miners. So it becomes increasingly complex to figure out what each of them are doing. Um, so m risk management uh, can be accomplished through good tools, which uh, there's not a whole lot of them out there. One, we, we're actually building one tool set, Mining Monitor, and um, I think that's something to look at. Yeah. And uh, for the bigger companies, um, taking care and, uh, and uh, think about uh, mitigating the, the risk, there, is, there are some uh, insurance companies who offer uh, um, to, to, to insure um, big uh, mining facilities. And also, uh, there are uh, there are actually um, systems who detect uh, the uh, so if, if in case of a burn, they detect it, and uh, you can erase the fire without destroying the hardware in that way. I mean, if, if there is fire in the in the farm, that's uh, the worst case. But uh, I, totally, people want to be secure also in these kinds of cases and don't want to destroy the whole farm. And there are solutions already for this. Uh, so another aspect of the risk management for security, which we've seen with Mt. Gox, or anybody that handles your bitcoins, you need to, as a developer or as an operator of a service, you need to really manage your risk in terms of what you expose the bitcoins to, um, your, for example, your hot wallet or your cold, cold wallet. and ways to help you need go good coding practices which we saw with Mount Gox not following any of those um, and it, you really need to be cognizant of security and you need to hire somebody who knows security and has a security background and has a track record um, I've seen a lot of people think they are good at security and so they go ahead with what they think are good practices and they don't account for the edge cases, which is where most of the hacks come from. Well, don't don't trust any institutions, um, and uh, you know, look, look into open transactions and, and voting pools as as a way of avoiding trusting institutions at all. A risk a lot of miners aren't really necessarily aware of is that if you're mining on a pool, the pool could potentially be performing double spends, and you would never even know about it or other different kinds of attacks on the network. So one of the features that BFG Miner has and is planning to expand on is the ability for you to run your own Bitcoin daemon that has the policies you understand and monitor for these things and alert you and potentially switch to it using a different pool if it detects anything like that. 